real flavor like gumbo so get a bowl put down your more control and kick your feet up what's up chicago once again it's your girl miss toy t squid and your boy dj market i i'm just taking a look at the uh new mixtape for my man tracks the the mob life you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and um uh, Toy, I mean, you know, when I when I look at Traxter, you know, I I can go back with him a little bit, you know what I'm saying, sure. and, and 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 see the up upcoming of him, right, you know what right, I'm saying. Right. But our viewers don't know the the history, history so yeah, I mean, let's hit him a little Chicago, bit. Chicago, look at it like this: if you know the Sears Tower, you should know Traxter. If you know <laughs> Pope Pebbin, do or die, Twister, you should know Traxter. If you know anything that's going down good in Chicago, music industry, independent labels, all that, you should know Traxter. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this brother talk so y'all. Let let y'all know a little bit. I'm going to let him, you know, feed the public a little bit as far as his background, you know, his M.O., what it is, his a little bit of his bio. How about that? We're going to give y'all a little history of Trax. Real Traxon. flavor. Well, in the beginning, Trax created, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been doing my thing for years here in Chicago. I'm still here in Chicago. Started out uh, in a group called D to the S. Um, we, we had a video called Doomsday that we shot on 71st and uh, Jeffrey, actually. It was like the first uh, independent rap video to hit the box. I don't know if y'all know about the box, but it was, a big, it was a big thing mm -hmm. back then. That's old school. And then from there, you know what I'm saying, uh, I started doing production for different acts. Really, it was a need to eat type of thing, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I had a little job um, making 400 a month my rent was 450 so right, right. that's why I got real it's good you know what I'm saying yeah. I ended up uh selling beats to different cats some of those cats was like Psycho Drama, Do or Die, Twister um then a few years later we started a label and a lot of those acts got pulled into the loop of the label that we was doing so you know I did the Pope Pimp record I did the Adrenaline Rush album um and then from there you know what I'm saying it was just beats you know what i'm saying it's just what i do you know what i'm I mean, saying but for those people out there who don't really necessarily who who or shall i say who aren't really necessarily in tune with how big that adrenaline album was i mean can you elaborate on exactly what was done yeah. what were you able to accomplish with that album in twister? Well, well first of all uh the deal with twister was between a group i caught me you know, between a label i caught on called creators way okay. and atlantic records right um, basically, at that time, it was the biggest independent deal to date. You know what I'm saying? Um, we had creative control, joint venture with Atlantic Records, which is something that was unheard of, especially for somebody from Chicago. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then um, the record went on to sell about 900,000 units. It's almost at, at platinum now. It still sells. It's a, yeah. it's a classic, so it's, you oh, know, yeah, sales sells on and on. But, you know, it was really the definition of uh, the Chicago sound yeah, at the time. Yeah, it was a signature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it's what introduced the whole Chicago, the concept of a Chicago rapper right. to the world, the world, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Before that, you always, uh, we always conform to um, sounds from other places, right. East Coast, West Coast, right. you know what I'm saying? But after Adrenaline Rush, we had our own distinct sound and our own distinct identity. So that's why that record was so significant, exactly. you know what I'm saying, the hip hop. Okay, that's, that's cool. pretty hot. Well, uh, as far as Billboard, what was your biggest Billboard uh Listen, who was the group that? I mean, Do It, Do it Die was funny because Do It Die had the uh, number one record in the country when we, uh, okay. you know, a few months after we dropped Bo Pimp. And we, we actually dropped that independently. Mm -hmm. And um, it's funny you, when you hear about the stories about runaway hits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one right. day we was pressing up CD, <laughs> CDs, and then a few months later, it was a sold a million units. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Still, that's a classic album. Even yeah. to this day, when that joint yeah. comes on, even when I had my DJs play it at the club, it's like you know that's still just natural classic Chicago hip hop. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And whatever genre or aspect you would want to put it, you know what I mean? It's still that smooth that we usually see coming from the shot. Right. So that's right. dope. You know, and that's why, like, if you look at my plaques on the wall, I only got two plaques up there. It's not because I only have two plaques. I got like ten, but. You know, those are the two. <laughs> those are the most two significant ones right, to me, because right. that was Chicago support <clears throat> Chicago, and you know what I'm saying the birth of a sound and that whole nine. So, right, right. you know, it's cool, you know, to have a lot of hardware up, but to me, those two are the most important for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so would you say the basis of track star is pretty much to do what? I mean, you know. Um. Well, my thing is, you know, I've always like I was I was uh, into Chicago music started my career when it was maybe one 
groups signed to a major label from Chicago. Right. Like literally, you can count on one right. hand how many right. groups were signed to major labels. So for me, you know what I'm saying, I've always had the love for Chicago and Chicago music based on uh, that 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 uh, struggle that right. we we've been through from that time to now, mm -hmm. and we still struggling. You know True. what I'm saying? Right. To to a certain okay. degree, we get money, but you know what I'm saying? They're not acknowledging Chicago as right. uh, a significant force in music, even right. though some of the most talented people that I've ever heard are from Chicago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, that's what my motivation <laughs> is. Is you know, I'm, a, I, I'm I'm real competitive, and I and I'm really my goal is to bring Chicago to the forefront, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've accomplished a lot of things that I want to accomplish already, but the thing that I want to see happen before I bow out is Chicago finally get recognized as a, as a, as a powerhouse. As um, we are. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, well on, on the flip side of that, you know, the positive side of that, but what do you see, what do you want for Chicago what what would you say? What's wrong with Chicago? Where where it's not happening, uh, in the manner that you're talking about? Well, if I had to sum it up to the most important, it's a, it's a lot of problems with Chicago music scene. But one of them is just not doing knowing how to do business with each other. Exactly. And when I say business, like you'll hear a lot of people say that, but I mean business is transactions. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, like it's. You know, you always have a person who in one position coming at a person who might be in a, I mean, a lesser position coming at a person who might be in a greater position and saying, help me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's love, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to learn how to do business. Mm -hmm. um, and you got to do things for business reasons, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I can only sell 100 mixtapes, then we got to do the numbers and work out a deal and mm -hmm. I, might can't, I might not be able to afford you today, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But... You know, it's a business thing. Many imitate what they be talking. Hey, ain't no mind, we already shine. It ain't hard to find. 7.30 every Wednesday. Hurry, BJ got the crop. Real flavor. So the block with true hip hop. Check your dial, it's already 7.30. Better hurry, channel 25 lockers. That's real flavor.